one thing I can I figured out so far about facing death, you're not going to enjoy it. I can guarantee you that. Yeah. Okay. So what is the answer then? Well, the answer is enjoy life while you can. That's the answer, and I, that's what the book of Ecclesiastes is all about. Enjoy life while you can. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 7 says, seize life. Yeah, grab hold of it. Eat bread with gusto. Drink wine with a robust heart. Oh, yes, God takes pleasure in your pleasure. Now, that's a fascinating concept. God takes pleasure in your pleasure. You know, maybe you've never thought about that. You're out there enjoying fishing or hiking or you're enjoying creation. Well, God takes pleasure in your pleasure. Verse 8 says, dress festively every morning. You know, don't skimp on colors. Yeah, I mean, look, put on some cologne. Smell good. Dress to impress. Yeah. Wear some gaudy colors. You know, whatever. <laughs> Relish life with your, the spouse you love each and every day of your precarious life. Each day is God's gift. It's all you get in exchange for the hard work of staying alive. Yes, staying alive. That was the song by the Bee Gees, staying alive. Okay. Make the most of each one. That is each day. It's a gift from God. Whatever turns up, grab it and do it. And heartily, this is your last and only chance at it. For there's neither work to do nor faults to think in the company of the dead where you're most certainly headed. Now, Solomon is not saying that there is no resurrection from the dead. He just, Solomon is just dealing with reality and all, his, all its ugliness. He's just dealing with life as it is right now. So if you can, you better enjoy life while you can. A friend of mine told me, elderly lady said, told me, said, you better enjoy life while you can because you're sure not going to enjoy it when you get old and you can't do anything. And that's what Ecclesiastes is telling us. Enjoy it while you can. Now, my question, though, is this, what I want to talk about today. Does God want people to be sick? Uh, now, I know old age and dying, there's nothing you can do about that. Okay, we all understand that. But I was looking at some statistics. Worldwide cancer, rate are, cancer rates are set to jump more than 75% by the year 2030. By the year 2030, 22.2 million new cancer cases will be diagnosed compared to 12.7 million in 2008. Now, okay, is this God's will? Okay, we are an unhealthy nation because we have broken God's law. And the law I'm talking about today are God's food laws that are plainly written out for us in the pages of your Bible. I believe there is a direct correlation between diet and cancer. You are what you eat, okay? For the past 6,000 years, man has rejected God's food laws. In church, you don't hear anything about God's dietary laws. What you will hear in church is they've been abolished, they've been nailed to the cross, they've been fulfilled, uh, Je Jesus cleansed all meats, uh, that's Jewish law, it's not for us, that's what you're, ch now, you would think church could be a place you could go to to learn how to be healthy. I mean, after all, isn't our bodies the temple of God? How come you don't hear anything about health in church?